Sperm Travels By the end of this video, you'll know 1. Where sperm are made 2. Where pre-ejaculate comes from and 3. Where the vast difference is What is sperm? Sperm. Reproductive cells that contain 23 pairs of chromosomes, half of someone's genetic makeup. First, we'll go over the parts we'll be learning about in this module. Testicles, epididymis, vas deferens, Cowper's gland, prostate gland, seminal vesicle, urethra. Every day, sperm is made in the testicles. It lives there until it has matured and is ready to start its journey out of the penis. After the sperm have matured, they make their way out of the testicle through the epididymis. The epididymis is the duct that sits behind each testicle that helps the sperm mature just a bit more. After the sperm make their way through the epididymis, they then move through the vas deferens. The vas deferens are tubes that sit on top of each testicle. These tubes are essentially roads that sperm use to travel to their next destination. The vas deferens then lead the sperm into the seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle has fluid that helps protect the sperm and makes it easier for them to travel. After the sperm go through the seminal vesicle, they then go through the prostate gland. The prostate gland is a donut shaped gland that produces more fluid to help the sperm move better. Next is a Cowper's gland. The Cowper's gland produces a mucus like substance that helps protect the sperm during ejaculation. The mucus like substance also helps lubricate the urethra and neutralizes the acidic remains of urine that are left in the urethra. This is also known as precum. The fluid from the prostate gland, seminal vesicle, Cowper's gland, and the sperm help make up the ejaculate. After the sperm is done picking up everything it needs from the seminal vesicle, prostate gland, and Cowper's gland, it then makes its way out of the penis. And that's how sperm leaves the body. If you'd like to learn more, check out our video about eggs. Created using Powtoon.